What's wrong with this picture? Come on. There we are. My name is Melvin. Maven Nipan. But you know me as the Joker. Let's start off by saying how I got this right. When I was a child, I witnessed a fight between my mother and my father. My father had a kitchen knife similar to this. Cut her face and said, why so serious? Unfortunately, he saw me. Stuck the knife in my face. Ripped it off. And said, let's put a smile on that face of yours. Now, I killed a lot of people in this movie. Even my own henchmen in the beginning at the bank robbery scene. But I also killed good people. Like the mayor. The commissioner. Lieutenant James Gordon. And I'm also responsible for the death of Rachel Dawes. Now, I'm also technically responsible for Harvey Dent. You see, the police weren't the most powerful, nor was it Batman. It was Harvey Dent. So I had to take him out of the picture. And I used Salvatore Moroni to do it. Now, unfortunately, things didn't turn out full the way Harvey that I planned, as he becomes Two-Face, because, you see, they got to him in time. And even though the chemicals only were wet on his side of his face, when Batman got him out of the building and an explosion occurred, the fire hit him in the face and burned him, causing him to become Two-Face. But... Batman kills it at the end of the movie, so no more Two-Face. You also see a good friend of mine, the Scarecrow, in the movie. I got Batman's kill. You see, Batman has no limits. There was always one thing that Batman wouldn't do that I got him to do, and that's kill someone. Batman is a fugitive at the end of this movie. Because of me. It could never get out what happened to Harvey. Batman even said it to the commissioner. He praised Harvey as the man he was, not the man he became. You see, two hours and 32 minutes of non-stop action. I deserve an Oscar for the role I played. It was so sick and twisted. Like, when I... Showed a magic trick at the beginning of the movie, and when I stuck a pencil in the table, I watched this pencil disappear, and I took the goon's head and I smashed it into the pencil. Guess what? The pencil was gone! <laughs> From that, through the interrogation room scene, where I fought with the Batman, to making you wonder how the Bat Pod appears, all you see, the Bat Pod was actually the Batmobile, but the Batmobile got fucked up in the movie, and it had to self-destruct, but right before it self-destructed, it shut the Batman out to the Batman. Oh, yes, it did. <laughs> I could go on for more than ten minutes about this review, but I won't. I will say this. This movie should be some kind of best picture, and I should win for best supporting actor, even though I stole the movie and I was pretty much the good guy. Now, like I said, my friend the Scarecrow was in this movie, but he was actually a good guy. He was like a vigilante trying to help the Batman, you know, from the mob. You had, uh, Lucius Fox resigned towards the end of the movie but he had one last thing to do before he quit and then he quit <laughs> it 
a shame. Cause more I liked Morgan Freeman, I really did. But you know, I was thinking, I can't lie to you people. Jim Gordon didn't die. You thought he dies, but he doesn't die. And guess what? That's right. He becomes commissioner. And at the end of the movie, since Batman is technically a bad guy, so to speak, that's when they take the axe. That's right. Commissioner James Gordon takes the axe to the bat signal and destroys it. Forever. I would just like to say that I don't want you to go see this movie. You need to go see this movie. It is just that damn good. If you want to stay till after the credits, by all means go right ahead. Because nothing happens. But it's good music and I highly suggest you picking up the soundtrack when it comes out. You see, this will truly be the movie of the summer. And for a dead guy, I did real good. If you know what I mean. Wayne Manor is non-existent. Batman's Bruce Wayne's living in a penthouse. And all the shit's like... In like hidden secret locations and shit from the outfit. You know. He actually was gonna quit but then he didn't quit. It was some really good heart-wrenching stuff. It is truly a dark movie. You see me for the sick twisted individual. And I really am. So go out. Spend your money and go see the Batman in the dark night. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Melvin. Y'all have a good night. I'm out. Oh, before I go, I have something to tell you. I need to go out and buy. This book, Behind Closed Doors by Carmine Stefano. If you like books about guys who fuck their daughters, but people think the guy's great because they don't know he's fucking his daughter, that book's for you. There's a lot of things I could say right now. But I guess the one that's most Fitting. It's here. We go.